Courtney pass for the lemur. Awesome. We didn't even uh, work on a second habitat over here, but there you go. <laughs> Let's go uh, actually work on it. Well, it is going to be a small little habitat, so we, we, we could finish it super duper quickly. So there you go. Edit barrier. Let's see. Just add wood logs like right here. Yeah, just boom. Add that. And let's uh, make it like 30 feet. And uh, let's just make it like this. Here we go. And then uh, pretty much like that. Yeah, that's, that's probably big enough. Well, if we get like a bunch of them. Well, if, if we get a bunch of them. We can always expand this out to here, you know? Yeah. Yeah, let's, yeah, we can just move that one over here. Is it fine on its own, though? I don't know if I checked that yet, but, uh, check you. Can I just go to Zoo PD from here? No, I don't think so, but, yeah, let me move this male to this lemur area right here, and then, of course, add this to the Africa work zone to make sure the staff can tend to these guys. Then, of course, maybe add another, uh, oh, I guess I was already part of the Africa work zone uh, from prior on. Okay, well, uh, unassigned staff, yeah, they could probably stay unassigned. It's probably good to have some unassigned staff that way. You know, if one part of the park needs someone and, you know, everyone's locked in their heckin' work zones and I guess someone that's basically a free agent can just go from one part of the map to the other part of the map that actually does need their help. Oh, yeah, education uh, boards. Uh, oh, God, look at all the people over here. Education boards, raise the price of entry. It was 26 from the walls, right? Yeah, so let's go up to like pff, 29 or 30. Let's do 30. Yeah, I definitely want to do maybe like $2 for every heckin' species we add to the park, you guys. I'd say that's fair. Yeah, look at this year's profits not really doing too well, you guys. You look at that. Oh, look, we have been doing a lot of spending, right? Yeah, so that makes sense. But yeah, I definitely do want to have more. Let's see, where are the money things? Oh, yeah, it's a, technically a guest facility, isn't it? But yeah, there's one right here. There's another one right here, but I guess I'll add them to this side as well. So there's one. There's one. Add one to this corner as well. And add another one right here. Yeah, there we go. And let's add some education boards over here too. So we already have a preset from earlier on. We can just kind of place down right here and we'll be fine. So I'm going to put it down like right here where that, uh, that brick barrier is. That way it's kind of not covering too much. Oh, whoops. That's flipped. I didn't know which side it was facing. And, yeah, about right there is fine. There you go. And it's powered over here, which is great. Set this to camel. And uh, let's actually check on the... Yeah, we could actually make that a little bit louder, and that'd be fine. It'd not be overlapping, but let's set the six. That'd be good. Yeah. Set the six, and let's do some copy pastas. We could put another one right here next to this donation bin. And we could put another one over here on this side where all these cacti and stuff are. And there we go. And it's not even overlapping with, like, the flamingo speaker right there. So that's great. I like that. Nice. Anyways, uh, oh yeah, and then we can put a lemur, uh, education board and all that kind of stuff over here. We'll worry about that a little bit later. I like how there's an ATM right there. May I put a, uh, you know what, you know what, you know what? <laughs> I bet some of you guys are thinking what I'm thinking. What a donation been right next to the, you put two of them right next to the ATM. <laughs> Super duper convenient. You don't, you don't have money in your pocket. Well, hey, there's an ATM right there. And there's another donation bin right there. And another donation, golly, there's a lot of those. <laughs> That's coming from me. I'm over here criticizing how many there are, yeah, like, but yeah, we, we put glass right there, even though there are some, uh, plants, like, obscuring the view right there, it's not really that big of a deal, but, yeah, uh, was there anything else I was doing before the actual, oh, I guess we put a glass right there, just that one random piece, uh, oh, whoops, I put one-way glass right there, did I accidentally, yeah, I think that's all regular glass right there, does the lemur, because it is a monkey-type critter, uh, I guess I'll unpause, and actually check the Zoopedia, uh, Ringtail lemur, yeah, there's right there. Climb proof, yeah. Grade one climb proof. But glass is already naturally climb proof. What about brick? Not cl okay, brick is not climbable, but the wood is. Yep, the wood is climbable. And uh, one of the guys, there he is right there, he's delivering the lemur right now, so let's actually edit barrier. Select all the wood. Make sure that is unclimbable. And uh, let's see, climb proof. Which side? Other side, whoops. I knew I was going to get that wrong, golly. <laughs> but there you go. Yep, that looks like it. I don't know how that climb proofs it. You think that just adds some grip? But like I said previously, I guess this is sharpened at the top, maybe? Even though it doesn't physically look sharpened? Yeah, look at that. It's just not sharp at all, but I guess maybe it is sharpened. And that prevents them from uh, escaping. Uh, did it say a height for it? Or just, yeah, just grade one climb proof. So yeah, wood, that's grade three. Glass, that's grade two. Brick, that's grade four or five or something like that, right? So yeah, we're, we're fine. And of course, Climb Proof, we just took care of that, so... Uh, the lemur is being delivered right now. That's going to be everything for the Bronze Star! Oh, 
Wonderful! Even more new species for the zoo! You're really giving our guests a superb look at the incredible biodiversity this planet has to offer. Well done! Oh, thank you. <sighs> it seems like just a few months ago, this entire project was merely an idea. An idea which I wasn't entirely sure was even feasible. But, once again, you've managed to make the impossible possible. I don't know how I ever would have done this without your help. You know, in a couple more years, I imagine it'll be you hiring some hot new talent who makes you feel almost redundant. <laughs> oh! Seeing the happy faces of all these guests gives me a really warm feeling inside. Oh, no, wait. Wait, that's actually my habanero taco kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, we already got the 2200 guests in the zoo thing for silver right there, you guys. Wow. Spent $3,000 on marketing yearly. That's going to be easy. Have at least four habitat species from the tundra biome in the zoo. Yep, that's for the Arctic. So we're going to have to worry about that here in the future. Uh, but we're going to make this habitat a little bit bigger. As you can see, 191 square meters with just one of these guys. If we get multiple... Oh, I didn't even check that. But yeah, it, with just one of these guys, it's it's still too small. So uh, let me check up on this. Yeah, it needs to have at least three. So let's actually pause right now. Let's check animal market. See if there's any more on the market. What in the world? This guy's name is Jaja or Haha. The <laughs> heckin' line right there. But yeah, check up on uh, ring-tailed lemur. And uh, oh, I might have passed it already because this is in reverse alph alphabetic order. Oh, here's one right here. Another male. It, did it say... How many males? Up to one male. So we already have one male right now. Well, I guess we can only get females from now on, golly. I think it's a male we have right now, right? Uh, it is. It is a bronze rating right there, so that's good. The size is relatively small. Immunity is not the best, but longevity, fertility, that's amazing. Uh, we do not have females on the animal market right now, though, so that sucks. So, yeah. Well, this one's a bronze as well, but every, everything across the board is green, though. Hmm. Should I replace this guy? Maybe. He might be a little bit better, you guys. I mean, he is... Well, the longevity fertility is better for this one. Size and immunity is better for this one. So I guess it uh, equals out a little bit. And of course, it is a male, and we'd be replacing with a male. So, yeah, let's not do that just yet. But yeah, right now, what we should do is uh, actually modify this barrier to be a little bit bigger. Maybe I'll make it come out to this right here. Which, uh, or maybe like midway or something like that. So... Let's delete this, delete this as well, and uh, from like right here, so yeah, about from the middle of that, we should uh, connect to like the middle of this. There we go, that should be big enough for this lemur, right? So I'll check him on him now, and yeah, might have to unpause for it to update. Yeah, I do. 191 square meters is now 354, well into the green, so that's great. But 354 with just one, so or uh, 210 for just one, so. Maybe it's going to be like 300 with three in here. You know, two more females. And of course, if they breathe, that's going to be even more. They want some climbable area. And of course, less uh, short grass now that we've actually expanded this out a little bit. So yeah, let's definitely take care of that. Short grass. There we go. Took all the short grass out of there. Do we have any climbable uh, things for these guys, though? I guess we'll check real quick. There it is right there. Uh, we do, but no pre-made things. I do know we could actually research them. I don't I think we might be researching them right now, actually. Habitats. Is that it? I don't know. It might be. Oh, no. Here it is right here. Shelters and climbing. That's what I was wanting. Yeah. So I guess we'll get some climbing blueprints for these guys. Uh, just because they do require. So I'll get someone to start researching on that. and Maybe stop researching habitats right there. So you stop researching habitats. And start researching. There you go. Shelters and climbing. So that's going to be good. But I guess for right now, we can probably get away with a little bit of climbing rating by getting like one of these climbing trees or whatever. Like, yeah, a climbing branch. Probably just place down one of those climbing branches. It just needs 20 square meters, so maybe I'll just place down a, a climbing branch right there. Another climbing branch, like, right there. Maybe I'll, uh, a ramp. Maybe I'll put a, uh, platform. Maybe I'll try and connect those together if I can. <laughs> That'd be cool. There we go. And move that to be about right there. I don't know if that did anything right there. <laughs> Hopefully it did. But, uh, I guess we'd also add a ramp here. Which we could actually change the slope of, like so. There we go. So we have a, a little bit of a T shape right there. Is that is that counting as this? <laughs> Maybe it is. Let's let's click on the little guy. Hopefully this counts as about 20 square meters of climbing area. Almost 17.9. Are you kidding? <laughs> I guess I'll just add another branch over here then, huh? 
So yeah, uh, let's see, pliable log. Mm, let's see. At least I'm, I have a little bit of an opportunity to get creative here, huh? Yeah, maybe I'll do this. Small platform, and then connect these up like this. Yeah, like that, and then put this log right here. There it goes. All right, look at this. Pure, like, uh, from me, not pre-made, 21.4 square meters. Perfect. All right, you guys, I like it. <laughs> He co of course, he, he does need a little bit of plant coverage from the tropical, so let's go to nature, let's go to tropical. Uh, yeah, let's actually get rid of all those. What was it, Asia, Asia for that too? I think so. Oh, Africa, yeah, Africa. So let's go to biome, tropical, continent, Africa. There we go. Oh, ferns, these are perfect. Perfect. Big ferns right here, especially in the corners. I'm gonna put one like right there too, a big one. Ooh. Big old tree, you probably, this probably counts as climbing rating too, but these are way too huge. I don't know if we can actually climb these apple trees and stuff, but I guess I'll put one down right there. There you go. Ooh, this is a cool tree. At least that down too, nice. Tree ferns. Awesome, at least those back here. Speaking of ferns, let's place even more of those back here. Just kind of cover up the back area back here, you know? So uh, yeah, let's get some big old ferns to cover up. The back here, especially where these posts are. Let's place those right there. All right, there you go. Oh, coconut palm. Ooh, a palm tree. That's a little bit too big right there. Eh, a little bit too big there, too. A oh, small little coconut palm. Yeah, there you go. Where's that right there? There you go. Oh, where's the... Oh, there he is right there. All right. How's this welfare doing? Social group. Yeah, social group. That's that's not doing too well at all. Enrichment, not the best. But, of course, we didn't really add anything here. So, we're, of course, climbing stuff. So, uh, man, we didn't have any food over here, either. Holy heck. Uh, fruit. Spike tree or whatever this is. Place that down right there. Let's actually get food and water for these guys first. But yeah, we're going to have like multiple, like a, a pretty good amount of these guys. So maybe I'll place down a feeding. Where should I put this? I guess I'll place it right here. There you go. That'll be fine. Got a water pipe. Place that down over here too. Place it by the tree. There you go. Very nice. So we have those done. Beds and shelters. Uh, I think he's fine with the hard shelters. Uh, yeah, hard shelters fine. Uh, although that may change once we add more. Speaking of such, let's check the market. See if any new ones have appeared. No, I think that's the same one. Yeah, it's the same mail from earlier. Yeah, it expires in four minutes. Oh yeah, if I, if I fast forward, does that make that timer go by fast too? It does. Okay, that's good. I'm looking at the reindeer right there. Look at look at how fast that's going down right there. That's good. Okay, so if I want that to expire a little bit faster, I guess I'll do that. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like a uh, common war dogs over here. Getting absolutely huge in the population. Yeah, a lot of I think a lot of baby males just turned into an adult or turned into adults. <laughs> so uh, let's go over here. Let's go to here we go. I think that's all those right there. So let's get rid of all the ones that are 2.1 slash 2.2 years old. So let's get rid of all of those. Send to trade center. There you go. And I think we're fine now. Yeah, let's go to animal trading. Animal storage. Take all those. Wow, we have two gold and one bronze. Nice. Do quick trade, $584, really good. How are we doing money-wise now, though? We're actually making profit. Yeah, we were, see, earlier we are actually not making profit, but now we are because we raised the price and all that kind of stuff. So we're now we're almost $20,000 in profit uh, compared to last year's profit of $13,000. So that's awesome, you guys. Nice. And, uh, of course, we have plenty of donation bins over here for people to donate into. Uh, so, you know, they get the idea. <laughs> of course, right here with the heckin' ATMs. People, oh man, I need to get more money. I need to get more money thrown into the bin. Oh, I need to get even more. Oh man, oh man. Oh, he just got, oh, I forgot them. I knew I forgot something. I knew it. Oh, it cost a thousand dollars for an emergency capture animal thing. I have to build a path. You guys remember early on from the, uh, from the tutorial, I have to actually make this path come out to here for a vet to actually get to them, unfortunately. But yeah, I forgot to make this part of the heckin' thing whenever I expanded it. I forgot to make this heckin' part of the, I'm probably getting comments. Saying, hey, you forgot to make that climb proof, Ada. <laughs> ah. Alright, let's select all that. Even though I'm probably selecting some that are already climb proof, but it doesn't matter. There you go. Is that. Yep, that's the good side. Okay, that's good. Uh, is the vet coming over here or what? Can I. Can I. Is that the vet? Oh, care. Oh, oh! Caretaker. Wait, does he not need the path? Wait, they need the path for. The. The tutorial stage, unless they changed something, but. Yeah, look at that now, he's picking up the box. He's going to go move it into the, uh, the lemur. Oh, he just teleported. Where'd he go? Oh, he's over here. What in the world? 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened without you guys. Uh, guests are doing really well right now, though. Oh, yeah, let's add a education board for the lemurs here in just a moment, but placing him down, taking care of this problem. And, ba-boom, there you go, nice. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know if having climbable things like this tree with this, uh, this, this, I might not even get another climbable area for these guys, because I like that right there. I might, I might even build even more, I, I might expand, I might, like, move this tree and expand this, like, climbable area over here for these guys. But yeah, I, I don't know if, like, having this close to a short wall like this, if they're able to, like, jump out or anything like that. I don't know. Uh, anyways, vet research is done. Whoa, for the camel, the flamingo, and the giant tiger land snail. That's cool. Might want to get someone to stop researching the snail and start researching the... Where is it on here? Ringtailed lemur. There it is right there. All right, we can get some more stuff from. Uh, so there you go. Anyways, uh, is this... Oh, yeah, it is part of the staff work zone already, I believe. Uh, if we go to Africa, yes, it is. Okay, that's good. Even after we expanded it, so that's great. Nice. How are these guys doing over here? Oh, gals. They're doing well. Yep, they're doing really well. They're 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 fine on everything right now. That's great. They're not even complaining about the uh, the social. There's no mail over here, and they're not complaining about it. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, speaking. Of, oh yeah, speaking of mail, I guess we can check out the cam. I never looked for the camels at least in a little while. So let's see. No ring-tailed lemurs are unfortunately, and then B for camel. Yeah, female, female. Unfortunately, I guess we can get another one. That was a, that's a silver female right there, you guys. Wow. Remember, we can get like a lot of females. So. As long as we can get a male for these females, that'd be great. But this seems like a pretty good female right here. I'm like, the other ones we just got, they were pretty good as well. But yeah, so this one's like quarantine. Boom. There you go. And, uh, oh, is the power research, is that done? Are they done researching that or what? No. They're two-thirds done right there. Not bad. Uh, but of course, that's the wind turbine. I do want to place that down over here somewhere. And uh, of course, uh, have that take care of this part. And we can actually have the whole area technically cold. Although not all of it's going to be snow, just it's going to be cold over here for the uh, Arctic Wolves. They're not going to complain about that, so that's going to be great. Uh, I'm not even visiting my own park. <laughs> We're at $130,000 in, uh, in the bank right now, which is great. So no need to worry about that. Uh, let's go back to animal trading, though. Maybe speed this up just so we can hopefully get a uh, another ring-tailed lemur on the market to try to add to our park over here. Oh, 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 a male camel is on the market. Uh, Not the best fertility. Oh, God. Not good at all. Decent, decent size, decent longevity, terrible fertility, terrible immunity. I don't want, I don't want it to pass on those genes with those high rated females, you guys. We need a really good male. So, yeah, I'm going to pass on that one. That one expires in five minutes, unfortunately, so it's going to be a little while until that one gets uh, turned into another listing, I guess. Well, let's try and find another ring-tailed lemur if, uh, our eye. Oh, this is where it would be if there was a ring-tailed lemur on the list, unfortunately, but to uh, refresh list. And, oh, oh, oh! Yeah, ours is a female. This is a gold female. Oh, wait, yeah. Ours is a male. This is a female. And it's a gold-rated female. That's great. Now, remember, we still need at least one more. So, yes. Adopt. Boom. Send a quarantine. I cannot... Oh. Uh, why is it not going? I don't know why. Oh, did it go? I think it went. Maybe. Uh, okay, yeah. It, it's just pause right now. So, there you go. <laughs> but, yeah. We have a really good female right there, you guys. Nice. And of course, if they breed, I guess that's how we get a third male, uh, or third creature. Because we can't have another male lemur, I don't think, right? Yeah. But anyways, yeah, let's check them on the market again. Refresh the list. Definitely want to do that every now and then. And see if we can find another ring-tailed lemur. No. What about another camel? That's a male. No, this is still the bad one. Yeah, expires in two minutes, though. So, hey, you know, that's decent. This is a really bad female right here, though. Golly. Oh, another female appeared on the market, but it has terrible size, but really good longevity, really good fertility, really good immunity, well, decent immunity. But I, I think I'm going to skip on that one as well. I believe we uh, did it pass. Oh, it did pass 14. Nice. So let's uh, move this. Oh, whoops. Get this out of the way. Move that to the camel area, which is still just exclusively female. Uh, oh, man. I don't even think I renamed that uh, enclosure right there. We'll move this one over to there. There you go. I, I need to rename this one to, yeah, Ring-Tailed Lemur. So, Ring-Tailed Lemurs. There you go, Ring-Tailed Lemur. So, there you go, right there. Low welfare, but we're going to be taking care of that here in just a moment. Or at least it'll go up a little bit better than what it is right now. Because uh, it needs at least three. Oh, God! I put the... What? The camel went in the... What? Did I misclick or something? Maybe. Oh, are they getting along over here, though? <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> Did I put the, the, the ringtail lemur over here accent? I might have done a switcheroo, unfortunately. I don't know. If, it, if it's over here, it, I don't see it. But anyways, yeah, let's move this one over. Golly, move it to right there. Golly. <laughs> that, was a, that was a terrible mistake. So after having to queue outside of the workshop, so I guess I have two mechanics trying to research the same thing that's that are working in the uh, the African area. So let's see, what's this? What's this guy's name? Alejandro Piera. Let's see. Oh, we got our research done for pa finally power, shelters, and climbing. That's good. So now we can actually get the wind farm going. Uh, Alejandro Piera, per Periera. Uh, we could actually switch that over to someone else. So uh, you could research the shelters and climbing instead. So there you go. That should take care of that. That way, uh, well, at least I know that people could actually go inside there, right? But <laughs> now, let's see, uh, water treatment failing. Oh, gosh, call mechanic over there. Uh, oh, God, how long has it been? Every six months, but it's been a year since the last fit. It's holy heck. Uh, oh, yeah, might want to have a, uh, whatever you call it over here, a water treatment. Oh, yeah, water treatment's like nearby, isn't it? Yeah, water treatment's like right here, so it should cover the water over here, I'm sure, right? Uh, so that's for oh, it doesn't. Ooh. Okay, well, if we place a, uh, a wind turbine over here. If we want to place a uh, water treatment next to it as well. $163,000 in the bank right now, you guys are really doing well. Holy heck. Let's actually uh, go to negative effects on guests and let's go to facilities. Let's place down the wind turbine. Of course, that one has a negative effect on guests, but the solar panel does not. But of course, we're working on the solar panel right now. But uh, switch us over to negative impact. Just because this is going to be like right across the street from the uh, thing, so it doesn't really matter too much. But uh, I guess we could actually Place this like right here. Let's cover the rest of the art. Actually, you know what? We could probably place it like right here and cover uh, the Arctic wolves and yeah, it covers the Arctic wolves and the uh, the other Arctic critter. I don't know what the, I don't know. Probably doll sheep, honestly. But uh, yeah, we can probably place it like right here and we'll be fine. I'll place that right there. I'll place a water treatment right next to it. This way. There you go. I have those like oh god, they're floating. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> Let me slick both of these bad boys and move them. There you go. Okay, now they're actually on the ground. <laughs> so that's good. But yeah, now I'll have to, uh, I guess right here I could put a path. Sneak that over there. Was it red? Yeah, they're using red for the, uh, for the paths over here, so that's good. There you go. And, uh, here's another. Oh, God. I guess we could do that. There you go. All right, there you go. So now they can service that. And, uh, we could actually set that to the Arctic work zone, I believe. Or, I'm gonna put it for Africa as well. Because I don't think we have any, uh, mechanics actually in this area, but. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have a mechanic for this area, specifically. Hmm. Yeah, you know what, I'll just add it to Africa. And then just get another mechanic in general. Just because, you know, those are two brand new things. It seems like we might be short on my- Especially because we're adding more enclosures and stuff like that. I haven't added any more mechanics just yet, so let's actually get another mechanic. Add this guy to Africa. Let's actually add those new buildings right there, those new facilities, for the Africa work zone. So, would it be part of this? And it's also going to be technically part of the Arctic Zone work zone, so there we go, nice. So it's technically part of two work zones, right? Oh god, it crashed! Man, I had an hour and a half streak of recording without it crashing. That That's probably a new record. <laughs> Man! Hopefully it auto-saved, because it's been a little while since I manually saved, but... Yeah, we, we were just doing a lot of, like, planning and stuff like that. Pretty, uh, pretty much for the past, like, I don't know how many minutes right there. But, let's see, uh, oh man, we didn't lose, like, any progress at all. Oh yeah, I was just moving down the, uh, the wind turbine right there, and that was it, yeah. So yeah, let me move that back down, and, uh, we'll be, oh, whoa, and, uh, we'll be fine, honestly. There we go, that matched up right there. Yeah, we lost basically no progress there. Awesome stuff. Vet called, though, ooh, Campylobacteriosis, do we have any? Oh god, we have, uh, research is done, though. Oh man, for the Bactrian Camel, the Greater Flamingo, and the Ringtail Lemur, perfect. So we can add some more stuff for them, but... Let's definitely get a uh, Dexter Banulos to research Campylobacteriosis. I, I didn't know if anyone here already had uh, some diseases researched, but I guess not. Uh, let's go to Staff Pass, add this over here like I was doing just a moment ago. There you go. All right. And uh, yeah, all, all I was missing right there was just uh, adding them to the work zones, and I think that's all we really lost right there, thankfully. <laughs> so let's actually add those to the uh, Staff Work Zones, Africa, and Arctic Zone. There you go. And I think I hired a mechanic as well, right? I don't know if that correct. Oh yeah, that, that was after. So let's hire another mechanic. Add him to Africa. And hopefully, uh, we're going to be fine here, you guys. So add him to Africa. How are the staff doing here, like, pay-wise, though? Are they getting overpaid or, or what? How are they doing star-wise? Uh, well, some of the one-stars, I guess we can give them some training. 
Oh, that guy's brand new, so we can't give him any training, but... Seems like everyone's like a baseline of like three stars. Everyone's either three stars or four stars, it looks like right now, yeah. Some of the vendors are four stars, makes sense. So that's good. Uh, they're not like... None of them are like five stars or anything like that, getting too expensive to, to really handle or anything like that, but... We already had a pretty good variety of critters here in the park already, so yeah. Uh, either way, yeah, now we have the coolers. We could actually place those down over here, set the heat map. Why did that get... What in the world? <laughs> what is with that box? Oh, he's the guy that got diseased. Oh man, that that vet or whoever right there was really, really talented. Boxing up the animal from who knows how many meters away. <laughs> and then you guys see it fling into the air like it across the zoo right there. Jeez. Or the habitat. So let's go to habitat coolers. Uh, where's that? Here's and coolers. Just set it cooler down like right here. That way it'll cover the entire habitat, but not really the pathways there. Same thing over here. Please like in the water. But, uh, yeah, there you go. So that should start cooling that down over there. So that's going to be great. And uh, oh, they have a part of it. Oh, looks like they're going to be fighting for alpha status. Let's see. How many do we have? Probably uh, two males. Yep, two males, two females. And one baby female. So yeah, we're going to get rid of this younger male. So which one is it? This one that's fighting, that's actually fighting right now. Yeah, let's definitely get, let's get rid of this one, even though he's silver starred. I don't, I, the other one seems like it still has a lot of time on its second life watch, so I guess we'll take him to the trade center and uh, trade him out. Just so uh, we take care of that little problem, you guys. Was well, this vet research done? Wow! Man, these are getting done really quickly. I like that. That's great. Uh, hopefully the Campylobacteriosis research gets done very quickly as well. But anyways, let's go over to the ring-tailed lemurs and check up on how they're doing. Are they male and female over here, though? Oh yeah, that's the female, so that's good. Uh, they're enrichment. We could actually get them some enrichment stuff now, so that's awesome. So, uh, let's go over here. Let's go to species ring-tailed lemur. And let's add them a, uh, some toys. So, let's see, uh, yeah, they have no toys, so let's add them some toys. So, let's see. Cardboard boxes. Small ball. Let's get a small ball right there. Mirror mobile. Let's place that right there. Sprinkler. Perfect. There you go. And, uh, they're fine right now. 2 to 50 out of 215, so that's great. Very nice. So... They're not really complaining about anything else, except for, of course, the... Yeah, the adult population is the only thing they're complaining about, but they're fine with everything right now. Nutrition's fine, social... Could be better for social group right there, but of course, space and stress is fine with the two here. Yeah, they require 218 square meters with the male and female. So if there's a third over here, which we could actually check animal market, or animal trader right now to see. Aardvark. Oh yeah, we can get a female aardvark right now. Hold on, let me, let me check though. Let me just make sure the aardvark we currently have, is that male or female? I think it's male. And it is. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. And I did want to get him a friend, so let's get this female right here. Not the best stats, though. Terrible size, terrible longevity, terrible fertility, but yeah, okay, immunity. Is it really worth it? Just to get... It's, it's going to pass on some pretty terrible genes. How is this guy's genes, So Terrible, decent size, decent longevity, pretty good fertility, and decent immunity, so I guess it'll pass on a really good immunity gene, or like a decent immunity gene, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> so... Yeah, they're, they're always going to be giving birth to, like, smaller-sized critters with okay to terrible longevity. Yeah, I guess I'll pass on this female. Could be better, but... Yeah, I guess... I guess it would... Like, he's fine on his own right now, right? Yeah, he's fine on his own. So, yeah, he he, he could wait for a, uh, a better female. It'll be worth it, I'd say. Let's try and find a, uh... What was it? Another ring-tailed lemur. Yes. Try and find another one of those. Which, uh... Oh! Oh, but it's a male. But it, I don't think his stats are okay all around. Not... Not the worst, they're just okay all around. 50%, 50%, and 67%, 67%. Not too bad, but of course, we already have a male, so any retail lemurs we get from now on are going to have to be female, of course, right? So, oh, another vet research. It's for the back drain camel, nice. Is that even how you pronounce I guess it is. I, but I guess we can see if we can give them anything. I don't think they need anything, though. I think they're fine with all their toys and stuff they currently have for enrichment. Uh, oh yeah, it looks like they need a little bit, because I guess because there's a second one over here, or a third. Back during camel over here, they do need a uh, better food enrichment because that went up with the uh, third camel, of course. Uh, the size is starting to get on the lower end here. I guess if anything, what we could do with like what we do with the uh, ringtail lemur, we could just kind of expand this away and give them a little bit more space. And uh, of course, with the ringtail lemurs, maybe if I expand the camels out, I'll expand it from here. That way, if we want to expand the ringtail lemur, we still have more room this way. 
So, yeah, let's do that. And then I guess, if anything, we could actually add a path from over here to go across that dried out river, which I wanted to check if I could actually fill it in with water, and I forgot to do it. Rough water. I can! Hold on. Whoa! That's cool. Is that... Oh, I can make it a little bit... Boom! Nice, that's rough water. Is that moving? It is. <gasps> water has arrived back to the desert, you guys. It actually kind of gets thin here. Can I make it go up a little bit more? I can't. Ah, I can't do that anymore. Hey, at least we have water. That's good. And it kind of stops right here. Is this the outside of the park? No, I guess, yeah, right here is a little... I have to make the terrain go down a little bit right there. And then I'll be able to make a little bit of water go through that. So that's cool. But yeah, that's cool. We actually have a river. An actual river going through here now. That's awesome. Probably take advantage of that by putting like hippopotami or something over here. But I don't think really... Oh, we can actually put more uh, river right there. Nice. And uh, even more right there. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad at all. And of course, the river continues all the way out to there. Which we could actually not build to, right? Where's the... Oh, the world borders right here. Unfortunately. <laughs> I guess we could add a little bit of water right here. There you go. And uh, Might as well just add it where we can. Just kind of have splotches of water here and there. To make it look like at least there's still some water. <laughs> so there you go. Of course, we could actually, uh, like I said... Like, push down a terrain right there, and I guess I'd fix that, so no need to worry about that, I'd say.